All right, this time. Whoop, that was not the right one. Oh, he's not affected by the blind. All right, uh, guess we're going. You cast the. Per Hope you like lightning. I'm trying to I'm trying to block. That didn't work. Okay, so that does work if I hit it at the last second. Stab. So you have a high block and a low block. I really like the combat system they came up with for the remake of Quest for Glory 2. Can you block magical fire breath like that? Uh, apparently you can. We did. Your protections. Okay, thank you. Okay, we need to get back up to the top, so we'll cast trigger on this. The earth shakes as the standing stone rocks on its base, then falls over to form a bridge up to the upper ledge. Now it said it was below. Rocks have formed an island. Now that you've taken the physical dark one sign, there is no trace that it was ever there before. The archway above the path is inscribed with eight arcane symbols. The eighth is new to you. It looks a bit like a sick. Um. Open? No. Nothing. Uh. Trigger. This is not a good. That's a perfect place to practice our magic. Force bolt. This is not okay. Not force bolt. Um. Maybe there's a different great arch. That this this isn't the one. Wait, can I put the point the symbol at it or something? You can't reattach the dark ones. You can't. Nope. Okay. We can try levitating. Let's see if that does anything. Let's go. Not a good time to cast your levitate spell. I think it was a good time. I thought it was a great time. The path is dripping with slimy. Yeah, and I, I just tried to reattach the or use the symbol on it, and it didn't let me do it. it just said that there was no place to put it. Okay, time. Sun is going down-ish. It's late afternoon. All right, let's go.
keep going. And then this gets us up to Arana's Peace. And we're going to rest here for an hour. After some re Your protection spell. Oh, we should grab a piece of fruit. We haven't been doing that. Your magical lasso. <laughs> I cut it off right there and it's like your magical ass. Oh. That's the acrobatics button. I completely forgot about that. We we took we put points into acrobatics and then just never used it. We can do things like why would you want why would you want to jump there? Okay, I guess we can't use it. Let me just do walk. But that was another way to get through the swamp was just to do little somersault jumps between the grassy areas. Why, yes, my ma my ass is magical. Thanks for noticing. Well, as the Witcher says, your ass puts others to shame. So we'll come back to town, go to the inn, we'll have dinner, so we don't have to eat one of our sandwiches. Pay the innkeeper for your room and board. Oh, it's been a week. Thank you for your payment. You get a fine meal of roast duckling a la garlic. It's a good thing that I actually do like garlic. Ah, so you Anything new here? The castle was once that of the Boyar. Now we do not know who lives there. Nothing. The innkeeper nods at you. Hey, can we go back into Punny Bones' room? There is no response to your knock. When you open the door, you find that the room has been cleaned out completely. He even stole the furniture? Wow. What a jerk. The furniture's the best part. Of course they stole it. Now, some people take the towels, other people just take the beds. Time.
what about Jersey Mike's? What's what's a Jersey Mike's? Okay, he's actually susceptible to being blinded. Unlike that last wyvern. It's a sub place. Never been. And he goes back to the middle so he can die. Ordinarily, I'd be jealous of the Jersey Mike's, but still full of shepherd's pie. Shepherd's pie is good. Mr. Wax wouldn't mind a dom. After some, I don't know if you can get that at Jersey Mike's. Wilds. Oh, what's this? A glowing magical star floats above the clearing. Oh, we know what to do with magic staves, staves. You are a very foolish creature. You must never use that spell on a true magical staff. You could easily have been destroyed that way. Fortunately, this one is just a spell. You have been tempted by a mere illusion. But there is a true staff in Mordavia. The Staff of Arana. What do you mean I was Before tempted? the staff may be claimed, there must be a sacrifice made. One life for that of another. You must bring about that sacrifice. Once you have completed the sacrifice, you will need to perform the Ritual of Release, which you can use to free the staff from its confinement. I will teach you this ritual. In return, you must come back here when you have Irana's staff. You are suddenly filled with the knowledge of the Ritual of Release, a spell of breaking magical bonds. What are you talking about? I was tempted by a... a by a staff. I cast trigger on it. If that thing was a real magic magic staff, it would have exploded. But okay, she wants us to cast the ritual of release so we can get the staff and then there was also some other thing she wanted us to do, the sacrifice of one life for another. Well, we had other plans for tonight, and those plans involve casting aura and protection. Is that Aura? No, that's the Ritual of Release. I guess I should have looked at him. Uh, there it is. Aura. You cast. And now, we're going to go up here. And this dude. I feel a chill go through you as you enter this part of the forest, as if a cold wind suddenly sprang up from nowhere. Yep, let's go. Vanishes into nothingness, and the air slowly begins to regain some warmth. The barrow contains treasure that the wraith collected while it was alive, or perhaps more recently from treasure seekers less fortunate than you. You find a jewel studded tiara, six gold crowns, forty kopecks, and a few old bones. Oh, a tiara! Uh, hang on. Just jewelry? This fine jewelry is undoubtedly very valuable. Well, what do we do with it? The jewelry looks truly lovely on you. It gives you just that certain je ne sais quoi. Linoff makes the best shepherd's pie? I'm gonna have to try it sometime. 
that will never actually happen, I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> Your order has evaporated. Shepherd's pie is very good. Haven't had that in ages. Your I found protection. I found a recipe for it because uh, Pink and Tender had mentioned it, and I was like, "Oh, what's that?" And it's actually really simple. This is... Wait. This is why we've been hoarding these things. Om nom nom. Surge of... Have another one. Om nom nom. Sur... Let's go. Because I think there are two more wraiths out here somewhere. You feel oh! Chill? There's one of them. So, you cast. hey, let's also you cast. do reversal. And I don't think we're going to win this fight. Because <laughs> we're just kind of trading shots here. Vanishes into nothingness, and the air slowly begins to regain some warmth. The barrow contains treasure that the wraith you find a dagger, thirty eight gold crowns, seventy five kopecks, and a few old bones. Bones, yes! Your order has evaporated. I have no idea what I need those for, because we already made the, uh, the elderberry pie. Okay, 358 intelligence, 352 magic, and we're hurting pretty bad, so I guess we'll just head back to town for now, and we'll kill the last wraith some other night. We got some good money at least. You're reverse. Thank you. Actually, how much do we have now? We have 97 crowns and 146 kopecks. I wonder if anybody could convert that for us. And reversal has worn off, but that's okay. We're going to leave that there for now. Hopefully they haven't gone to bed. You hear move. Up. Excellent. Okay, they are still awake. We can get inside. So, Dimitri says the gypsy didn't really kill Igor after all. Then there's that one about the Easter Bunny. Boy, you didn't hear? Well, that foolish grave digger fell into a grave, and he was trapped by his own gravestone. He's dumber than a styrofoam cup. Right. It's just lucky for Igor the stranger happened to wander by before he starved to death. You are all fortunate that this stranger rescued Igor. You would have burned an innocent man. Well, I still think the gypsy's a werewolf. Well, that's because he is. They don't eat people, so it's fine. Hey, guys. Say, did you hear that the grave digger returned to town unharmed? Did you know that the gypsy has been released? Were you aware of the fact that rumor has it that you saved both Igor and the gypsy? Well, yeah, let's tell you about what happened there. So you found Igor in the grave? Lucky for old Eeg, you came along. Otherwise, poor little Iggy would be dead. Well, at least he had a decent burial. Well, 
Well, Gypsy returned to his people, I suppose. Yeah, that Gypsy camp is somewhere to the east of town, by the shopping mall. <laughs> I still think the punk was a werewolf. Did you ever see him turn into a wolf? Well, no. Did he have hairy hands and pointy ears like Leonard Nimoy? Well, no. You see, it's all your fault, blathering on about those stupid, foolish folk tales why we could have harmed an innocent man. Yeah, I knew all along there's no such thing as werewolves. What do you think they would have done if you could have actually turned into a wolf and just do that right here and just continue to act normally? Well, Gravedigger returned to town safely and he can get back to his job overcharging us for those Fakakta gravestones. Yeah, he's even got full medical and dental. After all, the Gravedigger was at work all the time. So to speak. Well, things ought to settle back to abnormal now. <laughs> what with our little buddy Igor returning and all. Hip! We can go back to being open and friendly. And as always, suspicious of strangers. All right, bye Everyone everybody. Was too busy drinking to note. Oh, wait. We must have tasty dinner. Tonight for your dining pleasure, it is the traditional Moldavian chicken paprika. It was very kind of you to aid Igor. It has been a long time since we have had someone as heroic as you in Mordavia, yeah? Forgive us if we have seemed so unkind to you. It is just that we have lived so long in fear. Well, this is the first time we've been able to talk with her. Say, did you hear the... Okay, <laughs> yep, yep, yep. I was very worried about the gypsy. It was just like those three old yentas to accuse the wrong man. Oy. I'm so glad the gypsy is free. I don't know if gypsies are werewolves and I don't really care. As long as they don't harm anyone, they have as much right to live in Mordavia as we do. Bella. Don't you believe that, Yuri? Uh, maybe. Well, when you see your gypsy friends again, you may tell him that Yuri and Bella will welcome him in town. Now, I, I never said that. Oh, but you meant it, didn't you? You are a man of your word, after all. Oh, man, she just plays him. Oh, that is right. We hadn't been properly introduced. Uh, Yuri, will you introduce us? This is silly. You've met before. Still, it would be nice to be properly introduced. Please, Yuri. This is Bella Markarov, my wife and keeper of the kitchen. This is literally the first time we've spoken to her. Turn. I am very honored to meet you. <laughs> I, I've i tried to talk with her several times and it they never would let me. My husband Yuri doesn't like for me to talk to strangers. He, he thinks they may be dangerous. But clearly you are not dangerous. You are a hero. We need a hero here. Bella. Oh, Yuri, I'm just saying how welcome he is in Mordavia. So what do you know about Igor? I always leave a supper out for him behind the inn. He looks strange and a little frightening, but I think he is really a good person. He's always so polite to me. I'm not sure what he means by graveyard humor, though. 
At least he seems to enjoy himself. And we say goodbye. Everyone's yep, okay. Oh, we haven't even looked at all these people. The innkeeper's wife is a sturdy but not unattractive peasant woman. The innkeeper looks rather grim. Life in Mordavia has obviously not been kind to him. Three of the townsmen huddle together. They keep looking in your direction as they... No, we, we have looked at them before. You unlock the door. Let's see, what time is it right now? We're not sleeping until morning. Because I want to come back out here. Sometimes super late. So... After some rest. We are hurting pretty bad. Fighting those wraiths took a lot out of us. Nope. Everybody's still here. You unlock... After some rest, you f you are exhausted from lack of sleep. There he is. You have the feeling you are being watched. Let's greet it. Not many big people see Domovoy. Most not look. You something special. Maybe so? <laughs> Super late, just like my streaming schedule. Hey oh. Well, that would mean we'd have to be staying up until the sun comes up. You hero? Mordavia big hero need. Plenty powerful hero. Maybe you be soon. Learn much. Practice much. Soon plenty big hero. So... What are you? Domovoy am I. Domovoy, I be. Over places Domovoy watch. Protect the inn, do I. By big people, Domovoy not seen. You stranger are. Maybe hero, maybe not. Show myself to you, I do. Speak to you, I will. Maybe good things for people will you do. Maybe good thing for Domovoy you do. Hmm? Some night soon, talk we will again. Domovoy good luck bring. Maybe Domovoy help you. You, Domovoy, help. So where do you live? In where I am living. In Domovoy am I. Luck I bring. Way things go now, think most luck bad. What do you know about luck? Things at inn not good. No people come. Innkeeper and wife very, very unhappy. Mordavia, very, very sad place. Even Domovoy cannot help here. Oh, too much dark magic. Dark magic? Too much we speak. Too much I talk. Sometime else we speak. Sometime else I talk. Okay, he's got nothing to say about that right now. Tell me about Mordavia. Bad place here anymore. Good many years ago, but going very bad now. Many bad things here. You find out. All right. Well, good night. Maybe talk again. You come down other night. Maybe have much to say. And for those who don't remember, this was the weird thing that we found in the monastery and we dumped some of the what 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 did he call it 
You unlock them. Some of Dr. Cranium's weird water fluid on it. Rehydration fluid, that was it. And it turned back into that and left. <laughs> 